What's up guys? Welcome back to the Tenorshare channel. Today let's talk about how to get iPad out of recovery mode. Usually you see this screen when you update or restore your iPad using Edins. But sometimes it got stuck here without moving forward. You try to restart it, but it just keep looping. No worries, things can be easily solved by using couple ways in today's video. Super easy. Want to know how? Let's jump right in. If you don't have a computer, you can try to force restart your iPad manually. For an iPad without home button, press and quickly release the volume up button. Press and quickly release the volume down button. Then press and hold the top button. When the Apple logo appears, release the button. For an iPad with a home button, press and hold the top button and the home button at the same time. When the Apple logo appears, release both buttons. If this doesn't work for you, you might consider using a computer to fix this issue. You can exit recovery mode with just one click using Rayboot to start. Connect your iPad to the computer with an USB cable. On the interface, Click on the Exit Recovery Mode on the bottom right corner. Just with one click, you can get your iPad out of this issue magically. If you are still stuck on this situation, you might consider using the standard repair feature of Rayboot, which can also help you preserve the data. Click on the green Start button and choose Standard Repair. Go on with the Download button. Reiboot will get the latest firmware for your iPad. When the download is finished, click Start Standard Repair button to proceed. This process usually takes about 10 minutes. Please wait patiently. Well done! It says the standard repair completed. Soon, your iPad will be back to normal once finished restarting. If you're familiar with iTunes, you can try to fix your iPad using the Update option. Usually when you connect your iPad to the computer while it's in recovery mode, on iTunes, it will show that your iPad is required to be updated or restored. If you want to keep the data, choose the Update. iTunes will download the firmware for you automatically. Once done, you'll see the home screen. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. See you in the next video.